Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, back to the speckles. And I'm back at it again today with a new video. So, guys, this morning. So, guys, today is a new day. And this morning, I'm actually going out. So, I know you have probably seen, you not probably, you should have seen my video about my new accommodation. And I told you guys that it's not furnished, okay? It's not like fully furnished. It's not a furnished apartment. Though I made some things like the sofa and the sitting room and all that. So, and hi, I am someone that I need to be organized, okay? I, like, I don't, if I don't have where to put my stuffs, I just leave it laying around so I need to have where to put my stuff so because of that I needed a wardrobe there's no wardrobe in my room actually so I um, I opted to buy on Gumtree Gumtree is like you know like GG in Nigeria where you can sell you know used stuff not not new you can sell new too but used stuff you know, I mean you can sell your stuff even if it is new or used like and it's always a bit cheaper so i saw this wardrobe for a very very good price actually guys because i just need one so and uh, you know i was supposed to it was supposed to be picked up on was it thursday but then the van i had to okay also order for a van that let me pick it up because i cannot put it on my head you know and the cost of both the van and the wardrobe is like good deal if i wanted to buy a new one I'll buy like a small wardrobe and this one comes with drawers and all that <clears throat> so um the van man just later called me was like oh I'm so sorry darling <laughs> it's so funny when they call you that like I'm so sorry darling the one <laughs> if you come to the UK and someone's like darling honey then all that doesn't mean that it's into you or anything it's just being nice so it was like oh he's so sorry that he wouldn't be able to pick it up you know that day so actually initially i told the driver that could you please help me give cash to you know pay at well i mean at the pickup to my seller then when it drops off with me i'll pay him you know it's like okay no problem that would help me pay but now he can't pick up that day and my seller was like oh that she's not actually living that property that is in her brother's house and her brother has shared this blah 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 so it was she was like okay i'll help you talk to my brother blah 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 anyways later yesterday she called me she was like you know what we brought the um, what's it called we brought the this thing out the the wardrobe out we put it downstairs on a porch so that you know you'll be safe and let your driver just pick it up and i was not like oh how do i pay it and she said oh i trust you just slip it under the door i was like wow and you know initially i was going to ask my driver to pay but now that you know i i don't know if my driver will meet anybody there and i don't want to like risk it and tell him to pay and maybe he doesn't you know even though i trust the man to but i just because the person doesn't know me and you know you're trusting me that much so i just want to go to the house myself and go and put the money under the door by myself so that i know that i've put it there so yeah i need to catch the bus now pay the money i actually want to buy angers too so depending and i want to use the atm because i need cash so Let's go. I hope I'm able to block on the road. Guys, you see, I'm still always surprised how people get fat here. Because I have to walk like 25 minutes to the bus station. Like more than five or six times in a day. How do people get fat? Maybe when I have cash, but I don't think I'm getting fat anytime soon. So let's walk to the bus station. I have like 12 minutes more. This is the building, right? Fourteen. Okay.
confirm that I dropped the money at the right road. It's time to go back home. I just got down at my bus station, but then I realized that for my wardrobe, I need to get hangers and all that. So I need to get quickly check if the Tesco Express around me have it. Before going into the Tesco Express, I saw that their ATM is actually free, so I decided to, you know, get some cash. into the store and i couldn't find angas and this is because this texco express are actually just small ones that you have in your neighborhood to just get like quick needs so i'll have to go to a bigger one and that's the wardrobe that's the whatever came with it i'm going to like arrange it again and i still need to go back out to go and um do to go and um what's it called to go and oh, interesting what's the word cut our key because you know it's it's two of us that stays here so we need to like duplicate the key i guess that's the word but i need to oh, i'm just tired i've worked too much today I've worked a lot today so but let me just rest a bit arrange this room then go and cut the key so I'm taking my power bank this time because my battery is a bit low and I'm just tying this jacket. It's a bit hot but you know you can wear that So I just need to have this jacket and then cause oh the light is but I wanna go quick before they close so Okay, so my I'm at the bus stations and I realized that buses don't work uh, on Sundays as much as they work during the weekdays. I was at the bus station for more than one hour. He kept saying a bus is coming, the bus didn't come. So I opted for Uber because I was going to Timpsons and they were supposed to close by 5. So I needed to get there before they close. Where? In the mouth, Crips Causeway. Oh, okay. Big shopping centre? Yeah. Yeah, try in there. We've got a branch in there. Oh, you got a branch in there. Yeah. Okay. How do I get there, please? This is my first time here. Sorry? It's my first time here. How do I get there? Okay, are you walking or car? I'm walking. Walking. So, through the car park. Okay. Up here, past Dunelm Mill. Yeah. Across the road, and it's behind there. Alright, thank All right. you. So, here I was just literally ranting about how I didn't find where he actually described inside this mall, and this mall was so big. I got lost inside it. It was just amazingly big. And now I'm trying to catch the bus because I was. And pissed. finally, the key that I got to do, I was only able to do one. The most important one, I wasn't even able to do it. So I'm waiting for my bus again. Oh God, I'm too tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> the house i had to cook because it's monday i needed to go out i need to make sure that there's food in my fridge so i have soup and then i cook porridge and secondly you know i just came back from my interview i don't even want to talk about that yet <laughs> i don't even want to talk about that yet guys this hello <laughs> is not, uh, let me not discourage people but guys it's not easy not like it's not 
easy you know maybe because i'm just transitioning you know oh god i will not lie it is easy to get jobs here especially care jobs a lot of uh companies has reached out to me but most of those jobs are not the jobs i want to do and almost all the jobs i'm getting good good companies though because i uploaded my cv it's full time they want okay and i cannot do full time my visa only permits me to work for 20 hours so i have to look for part-time jobs so i actually went for an interview today it went good and they said they will start the training then the training for the next batch is next week even though i don't want to do the job i don't know if that's the job i want to do so i'm still looking anyways so um, i just got back home i was finally able to do one extra key to do key guys a key for entrance 32 pound one key they said because it's a it's security key one key 32 pounds the one i did yesterday 99 pound is it pound or pounds i don't understand yet anyways let me show you as you can see, see the difference in my room now it looks better but i know right i just needed to invest in this stuff so i needed a wardrobe for sure because i used to have a lot of clothes i like buying clothes even though I know I will not be buying clothes anyhow here, but I brought a lot of clothes from Nigeria so that I will not have to be buying, you know. Anyways, let me share with you guys what well, my room looks like now so yeah, I can see the final. I'm too tired. I don't even have energy to vlog. Oh, but yeah, let's go. So finally, let's get a room tour. So this is what my room looks like when you enter in. On the right, there's this drawer. This is for now my laundry bag. I've not gotten one. So there's this drawer here. And look, it's quite big. And this is like where I put a lot of my quick clothes. And then from here, as you can see, this is my bed. I bought it. <laughs> Did I just say I bought it here? I didn't steal it. I bought it. I got it for a good deal from Gumtree. It Let me explain properly how I got my furniture. Now, so on Gumtree, you can get cheap furnitures, either new or old or anything you literally want out there so one thing i knew that i had to get for new is my bed my bed sheets my pillow my duvet because you know i just feel like i wouldn't like to sleep on a bed someone has owned before so this bed actually so the first thing that attracted me to the company was i saw bed and bed frame for 69 pounds depending on the type you want which is for economy but i bought the premium one with the headboard so bed the bed frame the mattress and headboard cost me around 130 pounds plus headboard and comparing it to the ikea economy range bed and all that i would have bought i would have had to spend like 350 pounds so i saved more than 50 percent on this new bed i got my bed sheet my pillow my pillowcase and my duvet new ones at tesco's So this was when my bed was delivered to me as you can see but if you want cheaper ones like you saw on the price range you can see you can see used ones that are even cheaper for as much as £10, £20 but me I just wanted to invest in my bed because I didn't want to use used bed. And then this is my wardrobe, I put my small box on that. So for the wardrobe which was the best deal of all i actually paid 60 pounds for all of this the mirror the drawers this big wardrobe on the left and the first one i showed you i paid 60 pounds for everything but i also had to pay uh, a moving delivery van man who took i think 35 pounds so totally i paid 95 pounds which was still amazing let me show you the price i got when i checked online bear in mind that these ones are not even as big as the ones i got the ones i got were like six drawers four and then this look at the price and i paid a total of 60 pounds if i calculated this it was going to be like 380 pounds also for my shoes sorry about i have to use what i have this i put my shoes for now inside where our eater is so yeah that's all about my room.
So let me give you guys a 360. And finally, guys, let's just. I'm watching myself anyways finally guys i got a tv to on gum tree guys so this is actually my housewarming gift from a friend and like they wanted to buy me a new one like it's new maybe small 30 inches or something and i was like you know what well, let's check on gum tree and for the person's budget we actually found this 49 4k hd smart tv for 220 pounds guys the price of this isense you know new one now like for the same uh inch is actually the cheapest we saw was and the, that was an offer price was for 450 pounds guys so i got this for 240 pounds so i got this for 240 pounds on um on gumtree so yeah guys this is how i've been able to you know furnish my house and i'm so excited so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned one other thing from it because if you need to get furniture you can always get it on gumtree if you have like no budget at all you'll see people that wants to sell it for free and if you can invest with you know smaller amounts you know with uh, you can even get nice nice things for a very very good price at first i didn't even know that i can actually price like the first thing i got the bed though that was a fixed price the cupboard i mean the wardrobe because i found it for a good deal i didn't price it but this one the person actually put it there for 300 pounds and you know my friend and i we priced it to that 240 and this is it so it has a stand and also i can use a wall mount if i want so i hope you enjoyed this video guys peace bye bye